Okay, I wanted to do a video regarding the new exclusive sale and listing agreement uh, because there have definitely been some changes that have come down the pipeline, um, specifically starting the first of this year, 2024. So I'm just gonna go over this. And of course, if you have questions that are more specific, uh, always feel free to reach out to me, but just I'm hoping this will encompass a lot of people's questions in terms of the new commissions and kind of um, what that means for you as a seller. So pretty typical, just so where your information goes, the address. Here we talk about the term. Um, we'll talk about, you know, how the length of the listing agreement I typically do, you know, depending on the market, four to six months. Um, there's a lot of time and energy and money that goes into marketing a property. So that's what I prefer to do. But again, um, everything is negotiable. So under agency, you'll get a, a a pamphlet called real estate brokerage in washington you just have to acknowledge that you received that this talks about listing broker so it'll point me this is aliana young to represent the seller um so this is called limited dual, dual agency so listing broker as a limited dual agent it says if initial below seller consents to listing broker and supervising broker acting as a limited dual agent in the sale of property to a buyer that listing broker also represents seller acknowledges that is a limited dual agent they prohibit listing broker from advocating terms favorable to seller to de, uh, to the detriment of the buyer and further limits listing brokers representation of seller so basically if you're acting as a dual agent it's you basically become a facilitator of the information so you just have to agree to that if that's something that you're interested in um, down here on the list date we'll just put in the date that we're planning on listing um, this is just some fair housing information this is really what I want to talk about though is seven the compensation because this has really changed I'm actually going to read this little paragraph it says seller acknowledges that there's no standard compensation rates and that the compensation in this agreement is fully negotiable and not set by law if during the listing term seller sells the property and the sale closes or the sale fails to close due to seller's breach of the terms of the price of the purchase and sale agreement, seller shall pay compensation as follows. So basically, um, this would be what you as a seller and I negotiate. I have different listing packages. So this is something, you know, could range anywhere from, you know, one and a half percent, two and a half percent, um, or it could be a flat fee. And then it says, if the buyer is not represented by a buyer brokerage firm, the listing firm compensation shall be X. So basically that means if a buyer, let's say, comes to an open house and they're not represented by an agent, I will write the contract for a particular amount. Um, so that means I'll attend the inspection, I'll write the contract, uh, do all the things that you know a buyer's agent would typically do. So um, here it talks about buyer's brokerage firm compensation. So here again, this is where we determine and it is completely your decision. So I guess I shouldn't say we determine, you determine what you want to offer in terms of a percentage of the sales price or a flat fee. So you can offer, you know, you can offer nothing if you want to, um, and, or you can say that it's negotiable. So um, that is really your decision as the seller. And it says, if the listing broker represents both seller and the buyer as a limited dual agent, per blank percent of the sales price. Um, so basically kind of the same thing as up above, that if they're unrepresented, I can act as a dual, uh, limited dual agent and charge a certain percentage, um, you know, instead of having to pay the buyer's broker fee. So this box just says, if checked, the offer to pay a buyer brokerage firm compensation shall extend to licensed brokerages firms um, that are not members of MLS. So this would be, for example, if an agent out of Yakima was showing um, and they don't belong to the NW MLS, that they would still be able to show your home. So uh, this is an interesting one too. It's called the expiration of the listing term. So if the seller within 180 days after the expiration of the listing term sells the property to anyone basically due to my marketing signs advertising then i would still be owed that commission um so even if you were to sell it for sale by owner um if it's within that time frame then i would still be um due compensation so can cancellation without legal cause if seller cancels this agreement without legal cause seller may be liable for damages incurred by the firm as a result of such cancellation regardless of whether seller pays compensation to another licensed brokerage firm um this just talks about property access for non-brokers non-mls um brokers so we could provide a key box um 
just pretty standard stuff here. So um, that is basically kind of the nuts and bolts of the new agreement. I just wanted to make sure that everybody had an understanding that as a seller, you are able to determine what compensation you want to offer to both um, what you and I would negotiate, obviously, and or you'd pick a package. And then with the buyer's agent, you get to decide. And this last one right here I want to go over quickly is just damages in the event of a buyer's breach. So let's say the day before closing, the buyer decides not to close on the property and they have $10,000 of earnest money. So there's two options um, that the earnest money could be retained by the seller or divided equally between the seller and firm. I will always select this one just because typically there's a lot of time and effort and energy and money that goes into uh, getting the property under contract and to get all the way to the end of the transaction and have it fall apart. Um, I think the most fair way to handle that is just to divide the earnest money equally. So anyways, if you have specific questions or want to talk more about this contract, please feel free to reach out and let me know.